Valentine's Day coming up. Matt Rhodes from Dusty Cellar on the other end of our AT&T line this morning. Dusty Cellar is on Grand River, a little east of the Meridian Mall. How are you, sir? Good morning, Michael Patrick. Doing well, thank you. I was uh, interviewing Jackie Collins, the uh, very sexy, very successful novelist, uh, this morning. I don't know if you heard it or not. And I, I said, I always imagined you writing in the morning, sitting on your satin sheets, sipping champagne, in lingerie, and she said, well, it's nothing like that at all. But it, but it is an easy default to think of champagne as the sort of romantic drink of Valentine's Day, isn't it, or is it? Oh, sure. You know, champagne or, you know, any wine. It's all, you know, to each his own in terms of what you enjoy. And if you're going to buy a gift for some, somebody, if you know what their preference is, then, you know, buy them that. But champagne is always a, a natural choice, sure. Now, there is a, there is a, and we laugh about this every year, but there is a brand of champagne from right here in Michigan that probably sets the tone better than any other Valentine's champagne. Am I right? Uh, you could say that, yes. <laughs> and it is, you want to reveal what it is? Well, it's called Sex. Yeah. It's called Sex, and it comes from right here in Michigan. That's Larry Mobby, isn't it? It is, yes, sir. So if you want to just be, I don't know how subtle that is. I was going to say that's sort of a subtle hint when you give a bottle of sex champagne. But uh, the other thing is it, it maybe champagne's too cliched, and there are other options, too, including you know, ladies love chocolate on Valentine's Day, and uh, what goes better together than chocolate and wine? Chocolate and wine, and, you know, the choice was in wine. You know, we've got some, there's great things out there from uh, those Spanish Moscatos from $11 a bottle uh, called Paquitos Valentino up to Terra Valentine, which is a Napa Valley uh, Spring Mountain District Cabernet for $45 a bottle. So there's everything in between from, you know, light and sweet to, you know, Drive, Matt, I hate to interrupt life. you. i got to stop you right there for just a second. We have some breaking news, Matt Rhodes. Just stay right there if you would. Sorry to interrupt. Sean Diddy Combs and his girlfriend Cassie Ventura will not be walking down the aisle anytime soon. The New York Daily News heard from their rep. They are not engaged despite rumors that Diddy proposed. They are not engaged. They have been dating since 2007. So the word now out of New York, Diddy is not engaged. Thank you for just pausing for that. Breaking news, Matt Rhodes. Now, um, the chocolate wine, I presume, would be kind of a thing you would have with dessert? Uh, yeah. Yep. Uh, the one we have is a Trent Du Chocolate Amore. It's a red dessert wine with uh, chocolate flavor added. Okay. Now, I, some people would say when the temperature it is the way it is now, everything is ice wine. But an ice wine is a nice sweet proposition, too, isn't it? It is. Ice wine is very intense, uh, very sweet. And, uh, yeah, that'd be a nice Valentine's gift as well. What is ice wine? It's on the wine, the, the grapes themselves are left on the vine where they literally freeze on the vine. And uh, so when you do then press the grapes and make the wine, you get the very intense uh, sweet juice out of what's left. And that comes in that very long, slender bottle. They tend to come in uh, half bottles, yes. Yeah. That might be even more suggestive than Larry Mobby's sex, if you know what I mean, if you're trying to set the Valentine's Day mood. <laughs> DustyCellar.com, anywhere in the state. And if you happen to be in the state capital area, it's on Grand River, a little east of the Meridian Mall. Fine place to book a Valentine's reservation, too, for dinner and so forth. Sit by the fire there outside even, too. 20 